a beautiful day here at Motor Coach Country Club in Indio, California. Today I spotted this absolutely stunning 2020 Newell coach, and I just happened to run into the world famous Phil Cornelius. How you doing today, <laughs> sir? Hey, Andrew. Good to see you. Likewise. So what are we looking at here, sir? Well, this is a, a 2020 Newell coach, actually owned by uh, a client and uh, they were gracious enough to let us uh, show it. I know a lot of people have been asking about the basement bays. Can we take a look at the bays of this coach? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we've got uh, the front bay here uh, on this particular coach. is uh, It's all emptied out now, but we've got uh, plenty of space in there. Yeah, it's got that slide out train. I love how Newell Coach has these remotes where you don't have to stand there and hold no. a button. You can just stand out here, hold that button in, and you've got this beautiful tray with this large lip, all finished with polished stainless and lined with carpet. And you can see you've got a big bin back there, a lot of storage space, very easy to get to. These boxes actually are removable. Oh, really? Yeah, so you could you could remove the box if you didn't want the, uh, the box in there. It'd give you another half inch or so on each side, but most people prefer the box with the uh, with the lips here so that they can keep all their uh, equipment in there. Now the, the next bay is a little different. I'm gonna bring this one in. Normally we have two bays just like this uh, on the front entry model, um, but uh, this customer decided to do something a little bit different. Yeah, and real quick, I've gotta show everybody how beautiful it is out here at Motor Coach Country Club in Indio, California. Wow, what's going on in this bay? Well, uh, he decided to put in a little uh, a little uh, cook center. Wow, so this is really neat, like an outdoor kitchen. Outdoor kitchen with uh, expandable, so you've got plenty of counter space. I really like how it's got the high-end finishes, like an aircraft-style hardware storage here, so you can store all of your cooking utensils. Good size uh, cooktop there. Yeah, grill. Grill. Yeah, like I said, uh, some people, uh, for some people, they prefer barbecue grills that they can take away from the coach and and put, uh, you know, on a picnic table. So there's different ways to accomplish this, but they wanted to have one here. Uh, this kind of can be removed or, or you can leave it in, but it's a, it's a neat feature, neat feature. Yeah, and absolutely. Still, and you still got all the storage space behind it uh, that you can access. Now these, uh, these bays, uh, the slide out trays, they go both directions. So it's not just this side that you can access it. You can actually have them come out at the other side as well. Yeah, and, and plenty of room for storage there. We're going into bay three here as Phil's putting in the outdoor kitchen. I've got to point out all of that polished stainless and everything finished out, even the face of this pull-out tray. Uh, looks like we've got some electric components. What's going on in this space, sir? Well, one of the things that Newell does that, that I really appreciate after having worked for, you know, uh, two other companies, one approach is to have modules all over the coach uh, performing different functions. But with the uh, spider control system that we that we're using for the house everything is is right here in one location so uh, it's easy to access uh, this this actually can be removed oh yeah look at that and then uh, our service techs even our big old boys down in Oklahoma <laughs> yes, sir. Can, uh, can sit on here or, and slide in and, and take care of uh, any servicing needs that you have. You have your valid controls, uh, uh, valid system for your uh, slides over here, uh, the, the multiplexing system over here, uh, inverters uh, back there in the in the back. Uh, there's ventilation going out the other side, uh, and we'll get to that bay shortly, where uh, uh, you can dispense with some of the heat that uh, that does build up in a bay. So uh, it's a and and this can be used uh, as a place for. Um, toolboxes or, or some uh, cleaning items or whatever uh, that you want to put in this uh, this area. So, uh, bay 4 here looks like your entertainment bay. It is. Uh, what we've done is we've got a remote control. So that'll swivel out? That'll swivel out so you can put it in any direction you want. You know, different times of the day, uh, it's hard to see TVs during the day anyway sometimes, but you can adjust where uh, where you want the screen to face. And then the, the protector comes off. And... Wow, is that about a 55-inch uh, TV? Or... I believe that's 55. 
we, we put different sizes in, uh, depending on what the customer wants. Behind the bay is access to the plumbing bay from the, the curb side. So we've got our aqua hot system here and we use the 675, uh, not the smaller one that you'll typically find on class A motorhomes. Uh, it's uh, got more capacity and uh, uses uh, some uh, heavier duty uh, components on it. Uh, also a uh, water filtration system over here. Uh, they have a, a dump valve here uh, that allows you to dump from either side. Uh, so uh, this is, and you'll notice how easy it is to access uh, the the plumbing uh, I've noticed in uh, in some uh, products that it's it's a nightmare getting in there <laughs> yes sir uh, and uh, since we build the chassis from the ground up and we're not trying to build around a chassis or or uh, convert a, a bus chassis we're able to determine how things are going to be laid out so that uh, they can not just uh, serve the customer well but allow us to service it uh, more easily so then as we get to bay five here, uh, there's that camera, the fuel door camera, and we'll demonstrate that inside as well. I love that polished stainless. It literally looks like a brand new coach at how well all of these basements and how clean this coach is. The, uh, the batteries and the, uh, the fuel fill from this side. What Newell does, instead of, instead of putting a an access to fuel right on the outside of your coach where it first of all is kind of distracting from the, the smooth finish on the outside and also you you'll get drip diesel dripping off down the side at times it also prevents people from coming in and siphoning uh, off your tank uh, not yet not that everybody has to worry about that but you never know so we we conceal all that and uh, when you pull into the fuel stop at the truck stop it's easy to, to access your batteries We've got uh, six batteries, uh, six 8D batteries, and they're two high and three deep. These are actually on pull-out trays. Uh, we have to unbolt them. We keep them secured with bolts on each side. But we also have these quick disconnects, so you're not having to, to get that wrench out and bust up those knuckles to, to uh, disconnect it at first, but and, and then pull it out, and then you can uh, start removing the batteries if you need to. As I mentioned uh, before, we, we got battery life that up to 10 years. So it's not like you're gonna be accessing this bay for that reason uh, frequently. One thing that Newell Coach does that I love is the chrome wheels. Uh, those will stay at, at the highest sheen possible. And I, I, don't, I don't know if you can notice it as, since, we're during, since we're doing this during the day, it's hard to see, but we have an LED uh, strip going down the length of the coach uh, or the length of this belt rail we're using rgb uh, led lights so that we can change that color and it really gives a nice glow at night um, you can make it white and instead of having you know uh, docking lights or or patio lights it's just got a nice even illumination uh, in the on the curb side yeah and then but you do also have you know additional lights as well oh, we do and then there's uh the rgb lights up there on top as well Absolutely. as below the coach so plenty of exterior light here on a newell coach Absolutely. at night it's, it really is a, a nice looking coach while we're going around this coach i just have to point out how big these windows are um, not only here in the front slide but also in that rear bedroom uh, that's got to be the biggest windows in the industry. I don't know if anybody else is doing windows that large. I don't think you. I don't think you'll find them anywhere, especially uh, on the inside viewing. I've noticed that uh, some that look like they have larger windows outside, but the actual, uh, you know, opening on the inside is uh, is restricted uh, sometimes by cabinetry. We've got a we've got a much taller ceiling, so we're able to make the windows taller as well than uh, than you know your typical motorhome or, or bus conversion yes sir and then those windows are on the insides of the slide outs as well i don't know if you can see it with the lighting but really gives you that optimal view when you're inside of the coach so this is the cummins uh x15 that you're using now it is it is uh we'll get to the rear where we can get a better uh, view of the engine uh in this bay it's a, a side access to the engine area we've actually uh this customer ordered a uh power washing system yes sir and uh, you'll notice that uh, he's got a reel for the hose but that hose can be attached back here at the back 
Oh yeah, so your power washer and an airline as well for your trailer? For, for your trailer or your tow car that has air brake, an air brake system. We've got um, another connection at the very front. So you're not limited. Uh, you, you've got all this hose that can, you can spray your uh, lot off or your car off, uh, bugs off the windshield. Uh, we also have a DI system uh, built in that you can uh, switch back and forth uh, from uh, normal uh, tank water to uh, a DI system to uh, reduce the, the spotting on the side of the coach. You know about that. Oh, you? yes, sir. I would never wash this coach without DI water. Definitely a huge plus. You definitely want that DI water. And I've just got to get you guys a, a close up here. This is going to be our, your house batteries back here. No, this is the chassis batteries. Chassis batteries. I'm sorry. And uh, notice we do have the power pulse system that we use. I mentioned that uh, previously. And we use that on the house and the uh, chassis batteries. That increases the life by um, reducing the amount of uh, sulfating in the battery. It uh, it's a conditioner basically, and uh, really. Uh, has extended the life of, of our, our batteries. Also, we've got access to the fuses, uh, rear engine start, um, and then we can disable the starter too so that uh, if somebody's working on the engine, uh, it's a safety feature. Yes, sir. And then, uh, of course, your pressure water controls over here. Got a compartment light that you can turn on to uh, eliminate the, the rear area. Now, I think we've got the fire extinguisher and we've got access to uh, some of your, your air systems we put a uh, and we'll see this in just a moment uh, we'll we put a uh, multiplier on the on the air system so that you can basically double the pressure coming out of your air hose that's going to allow you to, to fill your tires quicker or, or your raft uh, or your uh, mattress or whatever you're bicycles use. whatever yeah, you need. yeah yes, whatever, sir. You, whatever you need to, to fill yeah and I just I just love how Newell Coach finishes everything with that high polished stainless, just a great look. In, the, in our newer model since uh, 2018, we really made the uh, rear engine, rear hatch easier to open and close. I really like to point out in comparison to what you'll see in some of the engine compartments, we've got quite a bit of working room. Uh, it's not just crammed in there and uh, you know hard to get to. You've got access to all the things you need to have access to uh, and, and pretty easily. Here's the uh, air hose I was telling you about. It's on a reel, uh, spring loaded, and you can take that all the way to the front on either side. Uh, so you've got plenty of plenty of hose there. And as I mentioned earlier, we've got a, a multiplier uh, on so that you can double the air pressure uh, when you're filling tires or whatever you want to fill. Yes, uh, sir. Bicycle tires, whatever. On the back side, you've got a, a LED light oh, yeah. bar that shines down. So if it's at night, you're not having to have a headlamp or flashlight out here. You've got you've got plenty of illumination. Uh, we've also got, you can see on the inside, uh, some LED lights as well. We've, we've got a hitch that, that has a 25,000 pound uh, towing capacity as opposed to um, 20,000 in your, your bus conversions and maybe even less in some of your class A's. Uh, that, that allows our clients to pull a, a heavy duty trailer. This one, uh, we have an adapter in there so that you can uh, still tow your, your Jeep or uh, your tow, tow car. We have, we have quite a few customers that pull trailers and so they, they need that extra, extra weight. That's 2020 model that we're, we're looking at today. It's, uh, it'll be for sale in Oklahoma here uh, in just a, a couple of weeks, but now the uh, short cord, we have it to where it, it comes out here, but you've also got a rear engine, uh, uh, a rear start for the generator. Because a lot of times when you unplug, you don't want to have to go back in, turn the generator on to get the air conditioners going. Here you can do you can do that here, turn it on and off uh, here at the, the short cord. Yes, sir. We also have a separate uh, connection uh, where all you have to do is just plug in. Uh, we've got an onboard battery charger for the chassis batteries only. Uh, so if you want to put a charge to your chassis batteries, you can do that uh, with, by just plugging in an extension cord. And then we have a battery disconnect switch too. If you need to uh, disconnect the batteries for some reason, it's right here. You don't have to go and find a lever somewhere. It's just a, a switch here. Now, this will, uh, in addition to having a remote control for uh, the short cord, we've also got a manual control that you can uh, use to, to pull it in and out. We also have, I don't know if you can see it here, but we've got the ability to put air to the coach from the shop. 
So uh, you don't want to have to start the engine every time to air up the system if you're working on uh, on the air system. So we can uh, put air into the system remotely. Uh, we've also got, and it's on all of our products, but I wanted to point out that there's a buddy plug here so that if, if you had somebody next to you that needed power, you could do that. The guys that pull trailers that they need power to their trailer, uh, you can plug in a 50 amp up to a 50 amp cord into this buddy plug and use the power that you're getting off of those 20 kW diesel generators that you can't get off of a 12 k diesel generator. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here we have the, uh, the fuel fill from the other side. Uh, same thing. We've got it uh, concealed so that you're not getting uh, drippage on the side of the coach or you're not exposing yourself to possible siphoning. Um, and then we've got the, uh, the DEF tank that's on the, right beside it. Uh, you got 15 gallons of DEF and 200 gallons of diesel that, that, that's going to give you about two and a half uh, two and a half tanks of diesel for every tank of uh of death nice the plumbing bay uh on the newell is uh is pretty simple uh you've got manifold a uh, manifold system uh, you can see on the inside uh, the, the type of uh, the type of lines that we use um Got some PEX plumbing. Big uh, Mach 5 water pump as well as a redundant water pump there. Yeah, and if you look back here. Yes, sir. It's braided stainless steel lines. That yes, go sir. To the back of the back to the of the manifold, so uh, you can you can shut off uh, different areas of the coach. Cold weather is a, is a concern for some people. Some people like to go skiing, um, and if you if you don't have a, a bay that's uh, kept warm. Uh, you're going to run into some problems. You can see a thermostat over here, and that's that takes. Uh, there's an electric heater uh, that uh, will keep the bay warm. You've also got some ambient heat from the aqua hot on the other side, so uh, it'll keep this this area warm. Uh, here you've got some of the controls. You've got your uh, uh, dump open. Now we put a dump uh, safety on here so that you don't accidentally open it. In order to operate the dump valves for the uh, waste tank you've got to push the safety and then push the dump open. That keeps you from making a mistake. Uh, you can really easily be the most unpopular guy yeah, in the campground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, however, if you do make a mistake, we've got another safeguard. Our hose has an actual uh, knife valve on oh, the really? end of it so that if you've got any residual or if you do make a mistake, it's going to catch it. And then uh, whenever you put it into the, the sewer uh, hose, uh, the sewer dump. hole, the yes, dump sir. hole, uh, you can uh, open the valve then. So yeah, that's that great thinking. Good, good and it, is that a power uh, sewer hose reel, or is that manual? That that, you... that is manual. Okay. Uh, when it comes to sewer and water, and as I said earlier, even some of your electrical systems, simple is better. Yes, sir. Uh, when you try to automate these these hoses, if it doesn't work, it's not going to be it's not going to be fun trying to figure out how to get it dumped. Uh, so that's a it's it's a matter of taking 10 seconds to pull it out and, and drop it in the in the tank. Yes, sir. Uh, we do have the d electric dump valves, but we can also override those. We also have a uh, a gray water bypass, so that if you're in an area and you want to bypass the holding tank, and you're just going to have your your sink water or shallow water that can go out into the ground uh, and not pollute the area. You can you can do that with the gray water bypass that we, we put in. Now this bay, <clears throat> you'll, you'll notice on some generators uh, in the industry, there'll be a small radiator on the side of the generator. But we want you to have far better cooling than that. We have a 20 kW diesel generator. And instead of having one of those small radiators on the side, we've got this uh, large radiator with a huge cooling system that takes air through the, the bay door and down below. As I mentioned earlier, there's, uh, there's ventilation in the electrical bay that comes over to this side also. So you're, you're venting into, into this bay. And these are the DI water filters uh, that you have here. Nice. Now these are the storage bays from the uh, from the driver's side, and as I mentioned earlier, and you have remotes on both sides of the coach, absolutely, and they just stick right up there to that carpet. So really easy to pull these trays in and out. Absolutely, uh, Velcro is a wonderful invention. <laughs> yes, sir. True story. If for some reason the the remotes aren't working, uh, the battery dies or something, you can also operate it with manually the, with the manual switch. 
Okay, and then there's the back side of the Bay 2 storage there. Looks like there's some stuff being stored in there right now. And again, that same face, even on the driver's side with the polished stainless. And I like these uh, surfaces that they're using just to give it a real high-end look. And low maintenance. Yes, Dude, sir. Really, really clean. Yes, sir. Well, this, before we go in, I just want to point out the little detail that Newell does in the paint, like this drop shadow here and the silver pins with that heavy metallic. A lot of detail in the work, detail work that the camera won't pick up from several feet away. This is the bay that uh, has the two air compressors in it. We have two. Uh, one is always going to be a backup, but you can, you've got a toggle switch so you can exercise them uh, and just keep them both in good shape. You've got a lot of pneumatic uh items on the on the coach you've got your your entry door you've got pocket doors uh, you've got your leveling system that uh, operates off the airbags uh, and it's constantly uh, using air supply if, the, if you've got changes in temperature so we've got we got you set up with two air compressors instead of just one nice Here is the generator we were talking about earlier. This is a uh, Martin generator. We've been using Martin for years. Martin's been around for years and it's a Yanmar engine. And Yanmars are used, goodness, tons of applications. They're overseas in the oil fields running 24 seven. The, the Yanmar is just a proven product and has been for years. A lot of companies rely on, on this type of uh, uh, engine for various applications. Uh, we've also got, uh, I don't know if you can see it from here. Yeah, you can. It's a fire suppression system. For yes, the sir. Generator. And, and again, this is a 20 kW diesel generator, not a 12 K or a 15 K or 17 five. It's a 20 kW diesel generator. Uh, it's going to have the output to take care of almost anything you'd want to take care of on the on the coach. Uh, four roof airs. You've got uh, cooktops that are 220. Uh, cooktops that's 220. Dryer that's 220. So you need to have that power. And trying to rely on batteries to take over those type functions is. Uh, in our opinion, a risky, a risky thing to do. I'm looking so I'm looking forward to seeing the inside of this coach. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty coach. Wow, this is this is absolutely beautiful. So this is a 2020. Uh, looks like it's got the new cockpit area. What are some of the features in this coach? Well, this, this incorporates the new cockpit. Um, we uh, developed uh, and introduced into uh, the 2020 models. It's got the got our, our digital dash, but the big thing is the touchscreen uh, touchscreen uh, capability over here for a number of functions that used to be dials and, and switches. Uh, you've got your audio controls here. You've got your climate controls for the uh, uh, for the dash area here. Uh, if you need to connect your phone, you've got got that capability. We've got uh, your cameras as well. Uh, so if you want to see the left side view, you've got that. Uh, go back to the camera view uh, rear and one of the one of the features that we've also got we've got another camera screen up here at the top and sometimes you may want to have two views at the same time when you're parking uh, yes sir. you may be in a tight area and so what we can do is we can take push this little ghosting image here and it will change that and leave it permanent there and you can go back to this area and maybe you're watching a boulder on your right side yes sir and then you can still have the rear of the coach uh, available and then your mirror controls you highlight the the mirror that you want to change and then you can control it with the arrows it's also got the defrost and again left right controls driver fans uh, speed here and then the passenger you can control the passenger but the passenger also has their own controls uh, that they can they can control their side as well as well as the audio tap the new logo and you're going to have um, uh, contact information so if you do need service or support you can uh, you've got your settings uh, shade control for the whole cockpit area uh, individually you can and take care of those the gps if you choose um, the Rand mcnally system you can get an additional input here uh, the garmin doesn't have the additional input but some people prefer the garmin we'll 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 put either one in okay. for you. And then your leveling system. 
Uh, we've got uh, the manual. Uh, you can do uh, put it in travel mode, manually uh, level it, or let it automatically level. And we have the same, another touch pad that does the same thing up here. Now this, okay. This is all from Valid uh, Manufacturing, the same people that manufacture the slides for us. Yes, sir. All of these functions are also possible with the dial that we have over here uh, to the left on the driver's left driver's console. So if I go to the infotainment center and then come back over here, you can see where I can go around and then select whatever, whichever one I want to select, tap it to the, there I am controlling the temperature. No. It's a very similar system to what I've seen in the 7 Series BMW and the S-Class Mercedes. Exactly, exactly. So you've got, got two ways that you can handle it. Some people don't want to be touching, uh, the screen. touching the screen while they're driving. This way you can, you can keep your eye on the road and just use your left hand to toggle through all those functions. Uh, the same thing over uh, here with the gauges. Uh, right now it's, just, it's got all the pre-drive test items. Uh, you can go through see like right there we have uh, a little bit of uh, we need to check the the tire pressure on one tire it's a little bit off you got the brake life here you can see all your the bay doors that we have open it's letting you know oh, yeah. that uh, you've got your bay doors open so uh, quite a quite a few functions there very visible we can also go in in our settings uh, you know you've got guys uh, that are that are taller some that are shorter and so it's not a one size fits all with the this visibility on the screen. So we'll go in, we can change the screen position just by dialing, dialing this up. And now that way, uh, whatever your position is in relation to the, the steering wheel, you can move the screen up so that you have better visibility. Nice. This coach is not owned by Newell Coach. This is one of your Newell Coach owners that were gracious enough to let us take a tour of it here right. uh, in Indio. Greatly appreciate them. I want to ask you, before we take the folks on a tour of this coach, the rest of this coach, um, what would be a reason that someone should purchase through the Newell Coach factory instead of from a private party or a private broker? Well, especially on the newer ones, um, on our coaches that are eight years or newer from the current year model, Newell puts a, a two-year warranty uh, on, the, on the coach. And that is a tremendous feeling of comfort. When you're coming into a product you're not familiar with, and maybe you're, you have, you're learning more about the company, uh, there, there are certain apprehensions we all have when we try something new. We want to eliminate that. You've got a two-year warranty. Um, we also, in addition to that, we're going to have factory representatives or factory service technicians going through the coach. Uh, the, uh, if it's a consignment, uh, the uh, seller will pay for uh, the pre-delivery inspection and and that he will be responsible for correcting any items that, that come up on the pre-delivery inspection and that also gives the the new buyer a, a sense of uh, security there but the big thing is the warranty uh, i can't tell you how many times we've sold a, a, a pre-owned coach to to someone and then they experience the kind of service that we we talk about uh, they experience it firsthand and then they're ready for a new coach within two years so uh, you know the objective is not only to take care of our customers, but to introduce them to the company and uh, eventually uh, make them a repeat uh, repeat buyer. Now I've got to add to that, um, one of my buddies just bought a 2015 and it's at the, at the factory right now and I just saw they were actually doing some work to the coach and it was something that they had found that uh, there was no issue with the coach, but they knew on that 2015 model year that there was a potential for the issue. So they just went ahead and fin they just went ahead and fixed it at the factory before he takes delivery. And that says a lot about Newell Coach that they're willing to just go ahead and fix it. Where I think a lot of companies in the RV industry, as most of you know, they have that don't fix it unless it's broken mentality. But I think Newell wants to make their owner's experience as convenient as, po as, convenient as possible. So if they can fix something in Oklahoma, they do it right there. Right. And then there's some, there's some obvious other advantages that you, you just, when somebody's coming into the, the Newell product, it's like any other product. You're going to learn, you're going to need to learn a lot of new things. And when you buy from a from a private party, uh, they may be able to take you through the process uh, some, but you're not gonna get the kind of delivery 
that you're going to get with with Newell employees taking you through the process. We'll we'll spend three days with you, and not we're not just going to throw you the keys and uh, say good luck. Also, independent brokers and um, and dealers, they may mean well, but a lot of times they're just not familiar enough with the product to accurately represent it and actually accurately represent what it's not just its capabilities are, but uh, how to operate it. And so that's that can be a source of frustration for people that buy a new product and then have to figure it out on their own. Just a, a lot of value built into the warranty, the inspections, the, um, you know, having it uh, a clean bill of health, and then a good orientation by qualified Newell employees. This couple custom ordered the coach. Uh, this is their second Newell. And uh, they uh, designed it the way they wanted and had some features in it that were really neat features. And I, I actually see some uh, other customers that, that like some of the features that, that this couple had. So it'll, it'll be a good fit for somebody. The credenza here, a lot of times we'll have two recliners and a small uh, table or uh, dual sofas, but they chose to put cabinetry that gave them a good workstation. Uh, you've got a place for uh, printers and, uh, and other, other supplies. Same thing with the drawers, and then your pencil drawers, and a lot of, a lot of good drawer space. The, the colors in here are, are somewhat neutral, but you can accent this with any color you wanted. They chose the, the ones that they preferred, but it was a good coach so that the next owner, if they want to change up some color uh, combinations, they can, it'll have a whole new look. Yeah. Good. Yeah, and I really I like how it sits. Just the subtle details, how the the pillows and the carpet, and then the painting over here really ties everything together. Uh, really, even your shirt matches the rest of the coach. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wasn't intended, but uh, a good selection today. Uh, they also um, I want to point out some things they did differently than some of the the other coaches we've done. They instead of putting a dishwasher in. They wanted to have a uh, larger ice maker. Okay. So uh, what we'll do in those cases uh, is we know the next owner may want the dishwasher back. And so this, this entire module uh, can, this, uh, well, this has got a little storage here as well. Yeah. What we can do, uh, we've already got it plumbed so that we can put a dishwasher in if somebody prefers a dishwasher. Okay. So it's not, not that big a deal. And then they, uh, they chose the standard dinette. We're seeing more and more people prefer that, that dinette arrangement. Uh, it just seats more people. You've got more storage, uh, than you'll get in some of these other, uh, type of, uh, seating arrangements with Newell. Because of the flat floors, yes, we, can sir. Put, we can put this type of arrangement in here. The flat floor slide, see, but there's no step up. Mm -hmm. And so you, and, and it's flat floor slides in all areas of the coach, not just one side. And we can extend the dinette to where you can see, see it even more people. Uh, I don't have it here, but there's a pedestal that, and a leaf that goes with the table, so you can pull all that out. We've got inserts that go, uh, with, uh, cushions that, uh, finish that off so you've got a lot of seating area of course we have ipad controls they chose uh, as well you have an ipad here an ipad in the front and uh may have one in the back Let's up see. here as well in the dash area uh, the ipad has all the same features as uh, our coach management system so you uh it mirrors the coach management system so that you can operate the coach remotely if you have a net uh, a card a, a sim card as long as there's good cell signal, you can be anywhere in the world and, and operate your coach. Very um, cool. I like what they did with the floor. Um, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to develop a bias in my business because just about every coach that's built is, is gonna have its own uh, personality. And I, I like the floor that has, uh, this one doesn't have a, a large amount of sheen to it. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's durable, the ceramic uh, products that we're using now. Uh, are far more durable than say a marble yes uh, sir where it can it can it's a little softer and the veining will allow it to crack but uh, the ceramics are, are really really good products and we've got the ge monogram look at the look at the size of those hinges yes sir <laughs> huge yeah it's hard to find a good uh, a good refrigerator that, that that doesn't rattle going down the road he's got a onboard vacuum system so you can just uh, 
sweep up into the, the vacuum or it's got a place for a hose as well. Hey, they put a, a large pantry in with, with slide out drawers. Uh, I, was, uh, I was really impressed with the amount of uh, storage that we were able to pick up in this, in this particular floor plan. Yeah, that's a very wide cabinet area there and all those pull out trays. That's, yes. that's a lot of potential for storage there. And, and they actually, uh, they actually had, you got more pantry over here. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Wow. That's one of the things that, and we'll, we can discuss this later. When you start comparing products, how much storage is on a Newell versus another brand, the fact that we're able to build from the ground up, have these flat floors, have more floor space than anyone else, you're gonna, the customer's gonna benefit by being able to place the storage where they want it. They chose, uh, these pantries when they came and took delivery they decided to turn this into a closet oh cool uh, so they can put you know some of their their jackets and things up here they don't have to go to the back to uh and then i noticed the vacuum is stored right there that's something we all need a place to store a vacuum and then your washer and dryer unit is here uh the doors actually disappear you can slide them back so they're not interfering with your walkway And this is the uh, the mid bath, a very spacious mid bath, half bath. Newell Coach uses all the highest end sinks and all the ambient lighting. And the laminates that we use on this, I really like the laminates here. That, yeah. And we're able to get the contrast too, so that uh, it, it does break it up. Same way over in the in the bedroom. Is that a fixed TV over there? It is. They decided to to put a fixed TV that uh, that allowed two things. Uh, they could uh, put the TV back and not have the televator. And when you don't have the televator. You've got all this storage now. And so that, that was their decision to, to do that. And uh, we've actually done quite a few that have a, a stationary TV. Most people aren't spending a lot of time in the bedroom looking out the window. Yes, sir. So, and then on each side of the TV, you've got your closets. On each side, you've got two short hangs here, or you could have a long hang. Yeah, and I, I've just got to get a close up here too of um, this material that's surrounding the TV. You can see the stitching. It looks like a leather surrounding the materials that Newell right. uses just give it such a high-end feel. They have, uh, have nightstands uh, on each side. Got a large one over there with uh, another closet or shelving. Um, storage down below. Uh, can't get too much storage. No, sir. Yeah. Yeah, and again, those paintings, how it just ties everything together um, between the, the bedding here and the, the other colors and this rug um, and Phil's shirt just really <laughs> ties together yeah, well. That's right. <laughs> oh, uh, and then the uh, the bathroom, uh, standard, it's one of our standard uh, baths. However, he did, uh, he took some of the closet away uh, back here You'll notice the big seat in oh, the back. Oh, huge rear closet, uh, rear shower there. Uh, do you want to show us for size? Can you yeah, demonstrate absolutely. how uh, how large of a shower? I mean, that's yeah. You've got you've got plenty of elbow room. Um, sit on the sit back here. Yeah. So it's uh, it's and then you still have your. It's, it's not a steam shower though. No, this one's not a steam shower, uh, but. Uh, is this towel bar uh, over here a uh, heated towel bar? It is. That's a heated towel bar. Nice. And then uh, you still have more closets. You've got the two clo three closets in the bedroom, uh, the closet in the in the hallway, and then you've got two closets here, cedar cedar line or a big closet here, cedar line closet. Yes, sir. And then uh, drawer drawer space below, deep drawer. Oh yeah. And when you start looking at all the drawer space. Oh yeah, all kinds of storage here. Nice, nice laundry hamper. I like yeah. the placement of that. Um, and a lot of countertop space and large uh, mirror there um, for makeup or what, whatever that's right. used for. Hey, Phil, I can't thank you enough. And a huge thanks to the owners of this coach for allowing us to take everyone out on YouTube on a tour. If someone is a serious buyer and they're thinking about purchasing a Newell coach, now this is only on display here on California right now, but it is going to be hopefully coming on consignment soon. If someone's a serious buyer, who should they get a hold of? Just give me a call uh, again at 541-953-3113 or, uh, and you can call or text and then, uh, e email me at Phil C 
P-H-I-L-C, at newellcoach.com. Uh, I'll be happy to send you more information on this one when it becomes available. And I, I'll help you find the best coach for you. This one is, is one that, like I said, will be available, but uh, we'll have others that will become available in the future. Phil, I can't thank you and the team at Newell Coach enough. I greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube liking these videos and subscribing to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thanks, everybody. I hope to see you soon.